Of course, uh, earlier today on Facebook, it was all a buzz uh, with the sight of what appeared to be a tornado. But it, I don't think it was a tornado, right, Matt? He's here to tell us what's going on in Matt's world of weather. Well, yeah, first, of course, I had to push Marvin out of the way as we uh, get set for the world of weather. Yeah, over on uh, uh, Facebook, originally I was going to talk about the meteor shower coming up this weekend. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. I want to go ahead and talk about some of the photos that you were sharing over on Facebook. Uh, certainly got a lot of hits, a lot of likes, and a lot of shares over on our WITM page. So, uh, what is this? Well, technically, uh, if this land spout did touch the ground, it would be classified as a tornado. Everything I've read uh, that have come in, uh, it stayed above the ground. So we're calling it uh, what's called a land spout, and we'll get in more into that in uh, just a little bit. Here's a couple of uh, other pictures that came in. This one does a great job giving you the just how expansive the storm system was, uh, but how small, how small the feature was. It's right there. That's what we're looking at. So when you compare it to a, a traditional tornado setup, uh, it is very small compared to uh, what we typically see with severe weather season, what's called a supercell or a mesoscale complex system. Uh, this is uh, from Carolina Camera, a little bit closer view. I want to point out uh, the city, uh, Hubert. Ron sent this one in. I got a couple of the radar shots that came in around the same time. We'll start off with the earliest one, then we'll work our way down. Uh, this one was at 2.38, uh, and again, that photo came in from Hubert. Where you're looking isn't right here because that's where the heavy rain is. Where you're looking is on the front end. Very typical with these kind of situations. Uh, they're called cold air funnels because what they do is they develop on the outskirts, on the outskirts of the storms. That was at uh, 241. The final one, we can get all the way down here, do some stretching. Uh, this is uh, as it lifted up. This is at 242. That entire time, three minutes, uh, if that. Uh, they're very quick events. You can see the picture back behind me, but basically we're calling it a cold air funnel or land spout. It's non supercell tornado, and I put tornado in a quotes because it has to touch the ground for it to be classified as an actual tornado. Uh, it's more similar, I think this is a really good point, it's more similar to a water spout than a tornado, our typical tornadoes. Uh, they are very weak and they are rarely warned, and one of the uh, big things that tells you it wasn't a tornado, uh, Jeffrey mentioned this, well, tornadoes, they're not allowed on the base. <laughs> it's got 30 likes in the last two hours. So again, I was going to do something about the meteor shower this weekend. Tune in tomorrow on Friday. We'll talk more about that. Dave, April. All right, thanks, Matt. As we sure. said before, always need to see those pictures as long as they don't touch down. Yes, and thank you to our viewers. You're our roving reporters out there. Like he said, it only lasted three minutes. So if you see something like that, take a picture and put it on our Facebook page or send it to Carolina Camera for sure.